all right guys so still on matters for matthias now quickly let's talk about this sad news coming from the southeast Papa's brother who is also a policeman has been shot dead by unknown gunmen unknown gunmen it's either you hear unknown gunmen or known gunmen or men unknown with a gun this is what you keep on hearing in southeast and we are not getting it right. We are not getting it right in Nigeria. All the time, unknown gunmen, known gunmen, men unknown with guns. How dare! Now, Papa's brother has been killed. Remember that there was a seat at home, all that declared by the IPOP, which the government came out and asked the citizens to go ahead with their daily routines guess what something tragic happened now let me read this article for you <clears throat> okay it was like that it was learned the gunmen who rode in tundra operational vehicle shot repeatedly forcing people to scamper for safety why businesses business people wounded the roads were deserted as motorists abandoned their vehicle and ran heter skater. At Oji near Owere, the state capital, the gunmen wearing black clothes in three vehicles attacked residents and passerby, including policemen. Eyewitnesses told our correspondent that the gunmen met policemen at Seven Up Junction at orgy and shot one cap dead and unfortunately it happens to be papa's brother he said they just killed a policeman now they opened fire on them and they were shooting there is sit at home we have asked you to go home sit indoors <laughs> after eyewitness said i just escaped death by a whisker now they, they stopped before us and shot in the air and asked us to go home. They didn't sh shot at us, maybe because I was in the midst of some elderly women. You see, this, um, this problem that is going on in Southeast, always sit at home. Sometimes eh, you go get sit at home for like a week. And this is not like willingly, by force. You need to sit at home. And government, you see, this thing now don't they become like constantly routine. It's a normal thing in Southeast. And yet government is sitting down there comfortably, not looking at what these people are really asking for, not looking at what is really going on. What is really going on? They are not looking at the permanent remedy, the permanent solution to this problem. Now, so they go leave them now. It will, it will degenerate. This unknown government, known men, it will generate and it will become another terrorist in Southeast. This is how Boko Haram started. From agitating, it started to another thing. Now, it's not terrorism. And now, Southeast, we are asking the government to look at this situation, to look at this problem and get to the root of it permanently before it escalates, before it degenerates to another metabolism problem. We have a lot of problem in Nigeria. It's quite sad. And I keep saying it, we are not getting it right in Nigeria. Now quickly let's talk about the S Super Eagles, former Super Eagles stars that went to Kano to support APC and also campaign for them. Now when their clip went viral, socialists started coming out to blast them and all that. And ladies and gentlemen, honestly speaking, our Super Eagles stars, they came out in their numbers to support 
APC. Khan Wanko was there. Victor was there. Yakubu was there. A lot of them, a lot of them were there. They went to Kano to support APC campaign and rally with APC. So when their picture went viral, Nigerians started coming out to blast them left, right, center, dragging them upper court, upper down, upper below. It no be small thing, no. It no be like I just carry the talk. Let me read some of the comments for you. Okay, Vincent commented, some people are very useless. Mad people everywhere in Nigeria. You to wake up. This is what Vincent stated. Evans also commented, who are the legends? People that are confused and hungry. You call them legends? It's only a psychiatrist patient that we campaign or vote Tinibu. They are probably broke and need their own share of the campaign. These people no, no get shame. Ne? Kai. Sometimes if you they type, read before you post. You, you guys are stressing stressing me here. Okay. Rich also commented. Samuel Eto is busy making name for himself. And the country, these big fools are here supporting tired God grandfather. Even your tired self is tired. All the money they are using to invite all these celebrity now for our head, then go recover them from uh, why. Sufferness, no tire us for this country like this. A lot of comment has been coming anyway, a lot, a lot, which I can't read all. Now, um, let's dissect this issue. Let's go straight to the point. And I know, and I know, I know just the candidate talk. Firstly, <clears throat> people that are coming out to castigate or to insult this our super ego stars. Firstly, I want to remind you something that is not by force. Campaign and vote is not by force. Now, you are entitled to support someone you want to support. You are entitled to campaign and vote for the right person that you want to campaign and vote for. And they are also entitled to their own choice. And ladies and gentlemen, whether we like it or not, they have chosen to support Tinibu APC and they have chosen to vote for Tinibu. Although we all know that they have been ordained. We know that as for being ordained, that is the main root of Tinibu. He likes ordaining our celebrities. But the truth must also be told here that we live in a democratic system where you can exercise your rights and your choice. And if they have chosen to vote for Tinibu, fine, it's for them. That's why I'm not going to say much about it. So if you are commenting or insulting them, have it at the back of your mind that at the end, you can force your own your own candidate on people's truth. You can't force it down on them. Now, yo, it's not done. You know the person you want to vote for. If you are voting for Peter B, fine, good. That is your own candidate. You get sense. You you want you want a better Nigeria. Now, it's not about coming on social media to comment or to insult these people. Now. You need to go and get your PVC. It's not because these celebrities that have come out to campaign for APC. So now automatically, APC is winning. Now, you need to get your PVC because whether you like it or not, your own vote also counts. And if people they support Peter, be good and fine. Support him 
and vote for him also. But one thing I will say here is that, you see, I've been looking at this, our celebrities, where they vote or where they campaign, that is campaigning for Tinibu and, and the rest. I've been watching them. I did watch them on 3D. If anything happens tomorrow, that is when I don't have anything to say now. But if anything happens tomorrow and they come out on social media to cry or to shout, this country is getting bad. This country is this. The corruption this. That is when I will come out and I will tell them, ye team, go and just down. So for now, I'm not going to say anything because at the end, we live in a democratic system where you are free to vote whosoever you want to vote. It is your choice to make. That's why I'm not going to say anything much about it. The same way you people should take a chill pill and stop insulting them. Stop calling them broke ass. Stop calling them all sort of names. They are still our super ego stars. Please. You, you people, we are also blasting Mercy Johnson. You people, we are also blasting her for coming out to support APC also. Let me remind you that her husband is also campaigning and her husband is in APC. He's a member of APC. So, Mercy can never leave his husband and support another man. Now, nah. Definitely, he will go and support APC. So, allow her to support who she wants to support. Make sure they drag them left, right, center. Sometimes, if I do look at the comments where people are commenting about these are celebrities, it be sad and it, and it's bad. It's not by force. It, see, it's not by force that every celebrity will will clamor or support Peter B. It's not by force. Allow them to choose whosoever that they want to choose. But the only thing I'm trying to let you guys to understand is that whatever decision that you make today, it will definitely come and haunt you tomorrow because we have a long four years to go. Four years is not four days. It's not four weeks. Four years. And if care is not taken, the person will still go another extra four years. So when you are making a decision, Make the right decision. No talk. Say, oh, because my husband is, is in this party, so I'm going to support this party. Irrespective of who is campaigning for the presidency seat, irrespective of that person, vote wisely. Get sense so that we can have a better Nigeria tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, may we.